Tell us lies, tell us the and see lies. Tell us lies. But you, we you know you're misleading you a lot of people. No, you have a big audience. audience. We know it's getting smaller by the minute you now. You can't, you can't. Since the Mueller report was released, which showed no collusion and had no indictments for obstruction, the media and the Democrat Party have been foaming at the mouth to convince us that no, there really was collusion. We've seen a few attempts to quell the media hysteria by people like Rod Rosenstein, who defended A.G. Barr, saying, quote, This notion that he's trying to mislead people, I think is just completely bizarre. Rod Rosenstein, as far as we know, is no fan of Trump, so it's pretty damning when he starts calling Democrats and people in the media bizarre. In this case, we have former Attorney General Michael Mukasey, who is brilliantly exposing Chris Cuomo for the hack he is, even outright telling him that he's misleading his viewers, something we've been saying on this channel for years now. Cooperation and conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russians did not happen, and that was to the- To a criminal level, no, says Mr. Mueller. To any level. Uh, I don't know about any level, but to criminal level. I do. <laughs> Did you see what happened there? Chris Cuomo is so used to spewing his misinformation in his bubble that he wrongly thought that he could pull one over on someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Mukasey is right that the report spells it out. There was no collusion. And I'll read it for you right here on page 181. Quote, the investigation did not establish that the Russian contacts amounted to an agreement to commit any violation of federal law, including foreign influence and campaign finance. Did you catch the part where it said there was no collusion to influence the election? The report even says that there were Russian attempts to collude with the Trump campaign, but that they all failed, meaning that the Trump campaign people rejected it. There was no collusion. None. Zero. Chris Cuomo is a hack liar who's just desperately trying to spin his way out of being wrong for the last two years. But this is a special counsel, and it was put together by Rosenstein because he wanted it separate from the DOJ because of what he saw as potential It's not conflicts. separate from the DOJ. I know. It's within the DOJ. But Listening to Cuomo here reminds me of talking to a young kid or a teenager who thinks they know it all, and as you correct their mistakes, they keep insisting to you that they know. Typically, that means they're not listening to you. In this case, Chris Cuomo's spewing a bunch of DNC spin, disguised as hard-hitting analysis, and he's hitting a roadblock when the sensei smacks him down. No, Cuomo, you didn't know, and you're about to get schooled. We have three branches of government. I understand. This is within the executive. I understand. We don't sprout a new branch of right. government. But what your friend did is not just by the book. This is where propaganda clashes with reality. A.G. Barr decided not to indict based on the complete lack of evidence after two years of investigation. That's his job. Chris doesn't care about any of that. He just wants to advance his narrative despite it being a completely debunked conspiracy theory. I find it interesting that earlier in the same interview, he defends the legitimacy of the investigation by citing Rod Rosenstein, saying, This is a special counsel, and it was put together by Rosenstein. But then a few sentences later, he's attacking the attorney general as having done something outside the norm. Despite the fact that Rod Rosenstein defended the attorney general and called his critics bizarre. I think bizarre is a fitting adjective for Chris Cuomo. Congress doesn't indict. Congress can I know I'm using I'm using it as just a you know a metaphor here but you we you're know you can a lot of people no because no the big OLC. audience we know the has getting smaller by the minute you now, can and you can <laughs> that was damn entertaining again with Cuomo constantly insisting that he knows as the guy who actually did the job and actually knows what he's talking about attempts to correct all of his lies like I said earlier, I think what we're watching here is a desperate attempt to save his own ass from charges that he may have been part of an attempted coup. Sure, they've all lost credibility, but they never really had any to begin with. I think what they might actually be worried about is being exposed for their part in this entire fraud once Barr shed some light on the corruption behind the investigation. That's why they're trying to discredit Barr. And I think you'll find that anytime the media is trying to discredit somebody, it's almost always somebody who's a threat to Democrats or the media. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you weren't aware, I'm also posting on BitChute now. Head on over there and subscribe if you want to see some of those clips that I know many of you miss. You can find all the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you.